Hi everybody, Aaron Blaze here and welcome to Aaron's Art Tips. Number seven. Okay, so this week I want to talk about the importance of silhouette in your posing, whether you're doing it for animation or maybe you're doing some figurative painting, animal painting, or even photography. The importance of good silhouette, I can't stress that enough. And what I mean by that is look at your character or your or the subject that you're going to the photograph or paint. And if you were to just black out that the, all the detail, the interior detail, and just look at that silhouette, how clear of a story would it tell? So that's what we're going to talk about today. First, um, I just want to mention that you can go to my website and you can see all of these tutorials that I've been doing, Aaron's Art Tips, there. You can also purchase other tutorials on Photoshop, painting. Um, I've got digital downloads, that sort of thing. The URL is creatureartteacher.com. Once again, that's the art of Aaron Blaze, and you can find that at creatureartteacher.com. I'd also like to give a shout out to Wacom and all of their great products. It's a great company. Uh, a lot of you, once again, I've mentioned this before, have asked me what equipment do I use when I do all of my digital work. And I use a Cintiq 24HD made by Wacom. It is a computer screen basically that I can use a stylus. The stylus is right here and I can draw and paint right on the computer screen. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a link and you can go to their website and explore all the different cool products that they've got. It's uh, they're incredible um, products that I, I've, I've been using for almost 10 years now and I use them every day. I can't, I can't stress how, how great they are. So go check that out at the end of the video. All right, so like I was mentioning before, let's talk about silhouette and clarity of silhouette in your posing uh, for painting, animation, photography, whatever it might be. And like I said, if you were to strip out all that interior detail of whatever pose your character is taking, would it still tell the story? And uh, one of the first things I learned as an up-and-coming animator uh, that Glenn Keane, the great Glenn Keane, uh, stressed with me is clarity of silhouette is that pose very is, is it clear is it telling the story from a silhouette standpoint and let me show you what i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna go for, and just show you a very basic um pose and uh so here it is right here and here we see a character a human uh, person standing there in profile okay it's fine but is that pose telling the whole story because if i were to Click. If I were just put uh, to reposition this character um, just a little bit, 90 degrees, then it would tell a much bigger story. And let me show you. I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take away this covering, and that's the actual pose. The other one was just it turned sideways. And now, see how much more information that you can see in that in that pose. And once again, I know this is very very basic, but I just wanted to start out with this as an example. Let me. Um, let me pull out another one over here. We've got another one here. Now here's a, a woman dancer I sketched out. And once again, here's a pose. Now this one's a little clearer. You can kind of tell that she's striking a dance pose, but you know, there's a little funky thing coming out of her back there and, and, that, and that could be her hand. And anyway, it's, it's good, but it could be better. And so here's the same pose just from a different angle. And you see how much more expressive it is, how much more rhythm that I can get through through the pose uh, of that dancer. And so these are the types of things that you should look for when you're posing out your characters. Now, I, um, I went through the Internet and I pulled down a whole bunch of, um, you know, different poses that I thought really told a story really well just through silhouette. Now, keep in mind, you got to remind yourself there's no information in any of these uh, 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 characters other than just black outline and you're getting all the information through that so let me pull this over 
And I know this sounds, might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many people really forget clarity of silhouette. And if you look at each one of these, keep in mind, these are just black blotches on a, on a white background, but they're done in a way that are telling a story. Every single image in here, you can either tell what the character is and what the character is doing. I especially love the trombone player, the weightlifter. And look at the little girls in the lower right hand corner. There is no information in there other than silhouette and yet you can tell there's a little girl that's taking a little taste from a spoon. The other girl has already tasted it. You've got a cat down there that wants to, to that's begging for food. You can get a whole story just from the silhouette. I think that's uh, it's, it's pretty incredible what you can get away with just with a black outline. And that's just the start. Then you can create all of your interior detail. So there's that. I want to talk about how I might apply that to some of my paintings and, uh, and put it to use. Actually, I want to, I'm, I'm going to bring over a photograph, though. So here's, that pe here's a pelican sitting on a post, and uh, he's doing something. If I were to take away that silhouette, you can see that he's preening. You can get that from the photograph, but is that the best, most descriptive silhouette in order to get the idea across, the story of what this bird is doing? So let me uh, just move this over. And I've got a photograph of the same bird. He moved, he changed position, but is basically keeping the same action. Now, look at that. That's all, all it is is silhouette. But now you can really tell what he's doing. He's preening. And there's the actual photograph. Look at the negative space between the beak and the neck. That really kind of tells the story of what, uh, that he's bent over and, and preening his breast feathers there. So that's, uh, that's something to think about in photography. Now in my uh, in my paintings, let me get rid of these real quick. I'm thinking about that all the time in my paintings, uh, my my posing for animation, that sort of thing. And I'm going to bring over a couple uh, more paintings that some of you may have seen in the past. Um, but I wanted to talk about once again the silhouette of these. And there's another one. I'm always striving for clear silhouette. Let's let's start with the uh, with the osprey. If I were to blacken this all out, you could still tell that this is an osprey spreading his wings, standing on this branch. And that's that's the goal through good silhouette is get, getting clarity, telling the story before you have to do anything else just through that outline. OK. Whoops. Let me get rid of that. And I'm just going to blow through these really quick. Same with this image. Here's a, you know, a very quick sketch I did of this lioness, but you can see through silhouette, she's nice and clear. You'd know, even if it was all blackened in, that it's a lioness looking back. And the same thing goes for this lion walking across the savanna. I posed him in a way that is very clear. And uh, it's like, once again, it's something that I'm always thinking of. And, uh, and you should also, especially in your animation. Now, let me jump over to uh, some animation that I've done, some uh, not animation, but actual posing. And uh, these are some drawings that I did uh, during the making of Mulan. Uh, on Mulan, I was a supervising animator of the character Yao, who was the gang of one of the gang of three, and the goats. Now, here are some drawings that I did of Yao when I was first designing him and coming up with some character poses. Now, once again, I was thinking about clear silhouette and making sure that just the silhouette could tell a story. And so here I made sure that everything was broken out and clear. So there's that. Here's another one where he's jumping towards camera with his sword. Once again, keeping everything as clear as possible. Even in the foreshortening of the character, I made sure to break uh, elements out for the silhouette. And here's Yao strolling across the courtyard. Once again, very clear trying to be clear and breaking out all of my elements to make sure that this pose is as clear as it possibly can be in silhouette. And then here's one more of Yao holding a sword. And once again, you can see that um, there's nothing, it, it's the, the silhouette is open and you can see uh, a lot of clarity in the pose, the sword, all of that, you know exactly what's going on. So. Uh, so that's Yao. And then there's one more. I just wanted to pull this out. This is a charcoal drawing 
of an early character that I was doing for Mulan, but it was one that I liked the silhouette on as I was going through some of my images for this lesson today. And once again, I just wanted you to see that you, if we were to blacken this out, you would still know that this there's a guy, you know, sitting kind of regal on a horse with his staff, and um, and that's that. So that's my lesson this week on silhouette. Um, so the next time you're drawing a character or, 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 or posing a model for photography or painting, think about that silhouette. Think about, especially if you're trying to tell a story through the pose, see if you can get that pose as clear as possible just through that silhouette and, and then see what you come up with. Um, it's something that I've been doing for years and years and it has really helped my artwork. It's helped the clarity in my animation. And, um, and so that's that. So just please, uh, Next time you go out, give it a shot and see how you do. So um, I want to once again remind you to check out my website. It's creatureartteacher.com. And please go to this link right here for Wacom. Go check them out. Check out the products. Very cool products, especially if you do a lot of digital work. So that's that. I hope you got something out of Clarity of Silhouette. I'll be back again next week with a brand new lesson. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but we'll just keep going with Episode 8. Until then, have a great week.